Man, almost 10 years since I've done it. It's been too long, so long. But don't be mistaken, it was my choice that left you alone. Hopelessly you stood by as I tasted foreign waters and got life wasted. You watched painfully as my identity was stolen and given one that was copied and pasted over and over again. You, you, you begged for my own mercy as I was deconstructed and inspected, belittled so much that you thought I was insected, yelled like a bug I was stepped on. Though you was forced upon me as a child, somehow we found common ground and held it down back in the day. You were my voice when I was silent because sometimes my days were too gray. You were my inspiration. You were my hope. <laughs> but like a child, I treat you like some schoolboy crush and I let you get away. Like you were some style no longer relevant, so I pulled a Jordan and did a fadeaway. But somehow you stayed, waiting so ever patiently for me to return, but you knew I was like a bird ready to fly, only to discover that the picture you painted, or the picture they painted, was only lies. But you weren't surprised, see? You knew that having my heart broken and experiencing different disappointments would bring me back center stage. To use this gift like Dr. Maya to reflect on lessons, speaking words, and being amazed at how life would take you in circles. So I bask in this experience and to be back performing my childhood spirituals because as an adult, huh, my pen has fully developed, making them more even credible. It's a miracle for us to be together, me, poetry, and the mic, because after nine years, it could only be God's will for us, this union, to reunite.